Well, the bingo game Loteria is easy to love, right? It's been played the same way with the same cards through generations of Latino families. But as NBC4 celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month, we introduce you to the creator of Millennial Loteria, a popular new version of the game with new cards and a new purpose. If life is a game and we're all dealt different cards... Internship. Yes, unpaid. <laughs> <laughs> then Mike Alfaro thought, why not use his cards to change the game? I think it's a fun twist to, to the game, and uh, I think people would react to it. If these cards look familiar, that's because they look almost like the Mexican bingo game Loteria. But Mike thought the game could use some updating. I thought, like, oh, like... La Dama doesn't really represent a lot of what's going on in culture right now. So I thought, oh, La Feminist would be like more appropriate to like nowadays. Soon, cards like La Sirena became La Selfie. La Luna became La Makeup Tutorial. Catrin is a hipster. You know, El Sol is El Global Warming. And it just became stuff that was like more about our life. Mike started sharing the newly designed cards on Instagram and thousands of followers later. The comments were just like, you need to make this game. Soon enough, the game Millennial Loteria was born. Um, I took all the money I had in savings and I invested it into it. Um, it was about like $20,000. Mike made his first 1,000 copies, which sold out in just four days. It was just me and my wife, and we were just packaging all the Loteria sets. It's a demand Mike says was always there, but has never properly been tapped into. You walk down the game aisle, there really isn't anything for Hispanic Americans. Not only is Mike a millennial, but he was born and raised in Guatemala. I think that's a big part of, uh, of millennial Loteria, uh, is that, yeah, breaking those stereotypes people have about Latinos, about immigrants, about millennials. The success of the game has helped Mike reach younger generations of Latinx in new ways, like his work with the Latinos in Media and Arts Coalition. There's a lot of young Latinx people that don't feel represented in the media, so they don't think that they have access to those opportunities. We're here at Dolores Mission, and the reason why we're doing this is because we want to see more of these kids that look like us. And have the Lima Coalition is a group of media industry professionals who work directly with young students, holding career days and youth summits to make them aware of those opportunities in front of and behind the camera. Or showcase, hey, we're Latinos, we're in this industry, we're making it, um, you can do it too. Mike is changing the game. He's using the cards he was given to give young Latinx of any background hope that they can one day change the game too. Where is our Loteria movie? Where is our Loteria TV show? And so to me, that would be the, the ultimate goal for where this can go. And today the game is being sold online in at least one major retailer, Urban Outfitters. To learn more about the game with a twist, go to NBCLA.com and search Millennial Loteria. I will tell you he sold... 15,000 copies last year, right before Christmas, in just two weeks. I was lucky idea. to get one of those copies, <laughs> oh, and it's wow. so much fun. Yeah, so, yeah. it's a really cute idea, and it's a good thing. All